Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm The Framed and welcome back to the next episode of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play where you all, my viewers, have chosen my team for me. So, in the last episode, we made our way up Route 119, I think it was, and we went into the Weather Institute and took down uh, Team Aqua, who was uh, making trouble. And then we also fought our rival May, uh, quite handily, I think. And uh, then we made our way to uh, Fortree City here. And basically the only thing to do here in this episode, slash this city, is to fight the gym leader. And this is actually the second time I've recorded this episode because the first time I completely failed against, uh, against the gym leader. My, I had everybody up to level 35, but if you look at my team, I am very susceptible to uh, flying type attacks, especially her flying types. Uh, because, uh, well, Breloom in general, Grass type, not good against flying. Uh, Swampert, uh, she has a uh, uh, the dinosaur-looking Pokemon, uh, <laughs> uh, Tribute Tribute Tops. That's what it's called. I think it's that's what it's called. No, no, no. Yeah, the big grass flying uh, Pokemon, uh, which kind of kind of hurt my Swampert a little bit. Uh, and uh, Pelipper, which kind of took down my Laron, uh, and Camerupt, kind of bad against that. And Shedinja, part bug, you know, flying type, not good. And Kadabra, though Kadabra is the post best Pokemon on my team. Kadabra, did I say Kadabra? I really meant Magikarp. Wow, that that was uh, that was bad on my part. Magikarp, <laughs> best Pokemon on my team. Uh, still got taken down pretty quick. Uh, I think the bad, I mean, the hard part about my team right now is the fact that I don't have any electric type moves. Uh, so that makes this gym pretty dang difficult. Uh, Camera up, uh, does have Rock Slide, uh, but it's just it's just not enough. She's got an Altaria, and our our type that our Altaria is just just a beast. Uh, taking down just like my entire team knows Earthquake and Dragon Breath is. There's just no chance. So if you look at my team here, I did get everybody up to level 40. Uh, maybe a little bit over leveled, but you know what? I don't care. I want to win. <laughs> I'm done being under, under leveled and going through my entire team against the gym leader. So got everybody up to level 40. Uh, basically, in uh, basically what we're going to do here, as you can see, there is a something blocking our path. Uh, so basically we have to get an item that uh, reveals what's in our path. Uh, most of you probably already know what that something is, but I'm not going to quite say what it is yet. And I'm just going to take down these uh, trainers here so that I can get to the place that, or get to the person I guess, that has the item that I need to get into the gym. And so we're going to try and stay out of the grass as much as possible. We have these... Uh, these guys here but I'm not gonna fight them because I don't wanna and we're just gonna run away from this Poochina and we have to fight this guy looks like and we're just gonna use our wow that didn't take it down I am very surprised and he wants our number whoop de doo alright so we got Steven here and if you look in the water uh, under the bridge there you can see that there is something in our path and when we talk to him here, we will find out that what that is. Hmm, framed. Hi, it seems it's been a while. Uh, there's something here that uh, you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, no, no, no. Rather than describing it, I will just have to show you. Uh, that will be way more fun. Framed, are your Pokemon ready for battle? But of course. Uh, framed, show me your true power as a trainer. Well, buddy, you're about to see something super special. And it's a Kecleon. Kecleon is a pretty interesting Pokemon. Uh, when you hit it with a move, uh, Kecleon, Kecleon's type will change to uh, whatever type of move you use on it. So I'm going to use Mega Drain on it here. And you'll see that Kecleon changes into a Grass type. So I don't want to use uh, Mega Drain on it again. I'm instead going to use... Sky Uppercut, which it learned through the leveling process, uh, off screen, 
Which reminds me of something else that I need to talk about. Uh, but I'm going to read this first. I see your Pokemon style, your style, your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon are have obviously grown since the last time we met. I'd like you to have this Death and Scope. Who knows, there may be another concealed Pokemon. So I got the Death and Scope. Framed. I enjoy uh, seeing your Pokemon, oh, seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing the doing great. Well, let's meet again. All right. So uh, through the leveling process, my uh, my uh, Marshtomp evolved into a Swampert, and yeah, that that's about it. Uh, so yeah, pretty. I wanted to show that on screen, but. You know, oh well. <laughs> Could it be helped? But now that we have the Devon scope, we can head back here and we're going to use it on the invisible object, which is again a, a Kecleon. And we're just going to go ahead and head into the gym. Now this gym has a puzzle to it, or multiple puzzles to it. Whatever, you got to like uh, move these thingies and they pivot around the center. So that's what you got to remember. And we want to go like that, and we're just going to skip that guy, and we want to go like that, and we're just going to skip those two. And then we're going to go like that, and I did that wrong already, because I'm bad. Like that, like that, go like that, and go back up here, go like that, and go like that. That's how you beat that one. Uh, that one, can, it's a little bit tricky. The one up ahead is a little bit even more tricky, so we have to be careful of that one. And it looks like they both have two Pokemon each. Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. We're going to use Headbutt and Surf, I think. Ouch. Uh, that hurt. And we got Zatu. Ow. We got Zatu. And we got two dead Pokemon. There we go. Awesome. And what's the final Pokemon? You got a Pelipper. You know what? I don't care. Gonna take you down anyways, there we go. Alright, so this next puzzle is gonna be a little bit more difficult. What we have to do is we have to hit this one first. I've no no no. We have to fight this guy, that's right. And I should have switched Pokemon, but whatever. Uh Tropius. That's that's the Pokemon I was trying to say earlier. Uh Tropius, she has a the gym leader has a Tropius, and it it kinda hurts a little bit. Mm, but we're gonna do that then we go over here and we do that and we do that and we do that and we go there that and then like that and then we go over here but we're actually gonna go heal quick first because we got injured and ah, gosh dang it and head into the get in there all right do this. Oh, gosh dang it. I'm so bad. Me and my speed button. Doing terrible. Alright. So we're going to head back really quick. And we're going to do all those puzzles again. Because they are just so much fun. Do 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 do. Ba da 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 da. Alright, I'll stop singing. <laughs> Uh, okay, so how do we do this again? We gotta go like that, go like that, go like that, go over here, go like that, go like that, go back up, and there we go. So, before we start this battle, we're gonna put our very strongest Pokemon in our first slot, which is of course Magikarp, and we're just gonna we're gonna go for it here. I am Winona, the, I am the leader of the Fortree City Gym. I have become one with the bird Pokemon, and I, I have soared the skies. However, Grueling the battle, uh, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird, Pokemon, and I. Weirdo. Anyways, Swablu, gonna be taken down by my epic, epic Magikarp. Look at that damage. Look at that. I am unstoppable. Yeah, Persian song. Frick. <laughs> so, Magikarp will be taken down in... In three turns. And withdrawing. I'm gonna. Ouch. 
See ya. All right, so uh, the only real uh, Pokemon out, real good choice put out is Camera because it is part Fire. Uh, putting out Laron would be a mistake because it'd be, uh, you know, those Grass types type attacks will be super effective. And same with Swampert and Shedinja and Bray, well, not Breloom. Although the flying type attack could take it down pretty handily because it is four times effective because Breloom is uh, grass and fighting, which is doubly or quadruply times effective against uh, flying types. So I'm going to throw out Camera Up and see what it can do. I'm going to use Ember and it almost takes it down. And uh, Aerial, Aerial, Aerial Ace did very little. It's going to send out Pelipper and I'm going to send out. Oh goodness, Pelipper. I feel like the only good choice is Swamper, honestly. So that's well. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So that would be bad. That would be bad. That wouldn't be terrible. I'm gonna try it, just because uh, Braylon in general would be very good for this fight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh that and see what we can do and I'm almost able to take it down I'm gonna use a hyper potion hopefully I can uh, use protect kind of really annoying but and I'm able to take it down which is fantastic I'm gonna leave him out because I think he can take it down in one hit and it is which is great and I did not see what Pokemon she's gonna be sending out I need to be a little bit more careful about that Skarmory Shoot. I'm gonna use Surf. Did pretty good damage. I'm gonna do that one more time. He'll be able to take it down. And Altaria. Altaria is like the bread and butter of her entire team, honestly. And we're gonna leave Swampert out. I'm really glad I got my Pokemon up to level 40 because level 35, <laughs> excuse me, level 35 just did not cut it, honestly. Without an electric type Pokemon, uh, this gym battle was just horrendous. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and use Surf here. And it didn't really do that much damage. And it got a critical hit on us, but we don't really care. I'm going to use Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is is going to kill me, honestly. Uh, it's upping its attack like none other. So that's going to that's gonna hurt. And shucks. going to try... Oh my gosh. What up? Swampert too good. Awesome. Love my Swampert. You're awesome. And I got the Feather Badge. With the Feather Badge, uh, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey you, your every command. Uh, you will also be able to use HM Fly outside of battle, and this, a gift from her. And it's Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is a pretty dang good move. And so now we can use Fly outside of battle, but... We actually don't have a flying type Pokemon, so we can't really. And we're getting a call here from Sky. Hiya, framed. It's me. Just as I thought, you uh, won at the Four Tree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a, a fan. You have a fan in me. You'll. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Uh, keep up the great work. So. We got another call from that creepy guy Scott. Uh, creepy guy Scott is a creepy guy, and I kind of forget what he's all about, but you know, creepy guy Scott. And now that we defeated the gym, I think we will probably be ending the episode here in just a little bit. And if I can find the place, there is in one of these houses. There's. Uh, a TM that we can acquire and I'm going to try and find it here. Is it you? No, I do not want to trade Pokemon with you. How about you? Nope. How about this house? I think this is it. Uh, people Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. To hold a coin in my hand. Now, tell me, have I have I palmed it in the right or left hand? I'm going to say right. Oh, I guess the right is the right right answer. 
And I am correct. We shall try again. In which... I'm going to try left. Ah, uh, lame. So, it's in the right hand. And it's in the right hand. And I'm guessing it's going to be in the left hand this time. Oh, splendid. You, Your hidden power has awoken. Here, take it and blah, blah, blah. So, I got uh, TM10, which is hidden power, obviously. And hidden power is kind of... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough, guys. I apologize. Uh, TM10, which is Hidden Power, is actually kind of terrible in my opinion. Uh, I've never really used it. <coughs> never really found a use for it. But anyways, this is also another place that you should go while you're here in the city. Uh, you can buy uh, stuff to decorate your uh, hidden, hidden hideout. Hidden hideout? Secret hideout. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, basically, it says desks and chairs. So, I mean, it's kind of exciting. If you want to, uh, you know, decorate your place, go ahead and stop in here and pick up a few things. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to be ending the episode here. In the next episode, I'll be making my way down Route 120. Uh, basically, that I think that I'll, I'll be a bunch of trainer battles again, so... Yeah, I mean, you know, it'll be interesting. But until next time, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have a comment, comment about just about anything, go ahead and leave that comment section. And if you want to stay updated with what I'm doing here with my Pokemon Let's Plays, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, go. hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all next time.